Hello everybody, this is Hybrid, and today I'll be reviewing Earth 2, issue number 4. So, let's begin. And we have Papa New Guinea, and I'm assuming it's a flashback, uh, actually it is a flashback five years ago, and basically the World Army or whatever, they discover the Atom. So this is a new version of the Atom, of uh, being that he can grow the superhuman, or not grow the superhuman, but he can grow to very large sizes. I'm assuming he still has the kind of atomic radiation punch thing. And he has super strength and invulnerability. So pretty close to the original Adam, yet still kind of different. And we have him now. He has works for the government. And we have Grundy again, who is destroying a bunch of the capital just to, I guess, draw out the Green Lantern, or as he calls him, the Jade champion the emerald knight whatever which honestly i kind of like now prefer alan scott just be called like emerald knight green guardian something like that because of the fact that dc's made it pretty clear they don't mind changing the names of the characters they don't mind changing the characters and a lot in general and i just feel when people nowadays are thinking about green lantern they don't think about alan scott at all when they think about the flash they don't think about jay garrett immediately they think about, like scarlet speedster or you know something else like that like maybe another name for the flash or another name for the green lantern but that can be like the real like title name for those characters because honestly it's just if someone's typing in oh i want to read the flash comic they're not going to be like oh jay garrett anymore and if someone's like oh i want to read the green lantern comic comic they're not going to think about alan scott anymore especially now it's totally different alan scott it's not the same one as before so that's where I'm going with that. I know I'm probably going to get some heat for that, but that's just my opinions, honestly. If they want to give these characters so serious, they're not going to name him. I guess they could say Earth 2 Flash, Earth 2 Green Lantern, but they say Emerald Knight or Jade Champion, whatever. just makes the character more unique and less tied down to whatever the mainstream version is. So we go to Poland, and... Flash and Hawk are like talking a bit, and then they decide, hey, let's go to wherever the rot stuff is coming from, which is towards America. And then we have um, Alan Scott, and he is basically flying towards there. And the powers he has so far that we know of is flight, durability, and superhuman strength. So, yes, he's flying there. Uh, there you go. Solomon Grundy calls him the Jade Knight. So that's one of the names that I could live with Alan Scott taking on instead of Green Lantern. Because honestly, there's no real reason for him to have the name Green Lantern. Especially if he's a champion of the Earth. So, yeah, I'm not getting into that though. Anyways, yes, Solomon Grundy's causing havoc there. And then we have Jay Garrett and Hawk, or the Flash and Hawk Girl appear and blast Grundy in the face. Except for that doesn't do much as he just heals. We have Hawkgirl deciding, oh, let me fight him, and Flash can save people. So they fight, and then we have Green Lantern appear, and he joins it. He joins the fight. They all decide to fight, and then we have Flash saving people, and we have Adam. You know, he's showing up. He's getting prepared, and we go back to the Grundy Green Lantern fight. I guess the green against the rot. Which makes me think, who are they gonna? Are they gonna have someone represent the red now? Because I know Beast Boy is representing the red in the mainstream universe, but they really seem in this Earth Two universe to want to have people represent each of the kind of fundamental forces of the Earth or whatever. So, yeah, I wonder if they're gonna do something like that somehow. But yeah, so the Adam comes down. And I guess, supposedly, he has a relationship with Hawkgirl, so that's interesting. That's kind of where the issue ends off at. It has, basically, the Atom working for the authority of the World Army Council, saying that they should all stand down, or else, basically, they're going to have to fight the Atom. So, overall, that's where the issue ends off at. I have to say, though, this is what I'm thinking. I think it's going to take a similar turn to, like, the Justice League, where they all have to work together because they realize they can't defeat Grundy alone. Then they'll form the Justice Society. So I'm actually kind of waiting who else will be, maybe, rev like, will end up showing up in the future for Justice Society. Maybe to fight Grundy. Maybe Dr. Fate will show up. 
I heavily doubt the Spectre will show up, but I guess it is somewhat possible as he was a JSA member. Maybe Wildcat, but I'm really pushing that one. You know, any other Justice League that gave me Our, Our Man or Sandman, whoever. I doubt it, but that's possible. So with that being said, though, I guess I'll get on to kind of my scores. So art for, writing for, plot for, characters for, and enjoyment nine, which gives it about 83% overall. I do recommend this comic. It was pretty good read, or at least to read. And you know, overall, I'm looking forward to the next issue. Earth 2 is what I must say one of the surprising titles in the New 52 lineup for me because I didn't really look forward to it, especially with the fact that Alan Scott, they totally changed him around and whatnot. But, you know, I gotta admit, I'm actually kind of liking this series. So, this is Hybrid. Uh, please subscribe, comment, and like, and see you later.